the full moon penumbral lunar eclipse in Libra. Time to take the necessary actions to embrace your destiny. Hello, beautiful people. Life can be a challenge, but at least we have each other. I want to thank all of you that have joined the channel. And if anyone that hasn't joined is interested, just click the button next to the subscribe button. Yes, the full moon in Libra energy begins on March 25th. And this is an extremely significant one because this is a penumbral lunar eclipse. So in the first part of this video, I'm going to go over the three things that everyone should know about this full moon, including why it is so significant. Then I will go over how it will affect your individual sign. Okay, no more wasting time. Let's go. The full moon in Libra takes place on Monday, March 25th at 8 a.m. Universal Time, which will be at 12 a.m. Pacific Time, 3 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and for those of you that are in the Southern Hemisphere, this will be at 7 a.m. in Sydney, Australia, and 10 a.m. in Johannesburg, South Africa. So let's jump right into the three things that you need to know in order to make the most of this energetic opening. Number one, this full moon will bring the powerful energy of the number seven and the magical tarot energy of the Justice card. The number seven in numerology represents the combination of the conscious and subconscious mind. And it also represents shining a light on the deepest of realms to reveal hidden truth. So this is a time where you can tap into your intuition, but also use your logical thinking and your analytical mind to evaluate your life, evaluate the people in it, the part that they play in your life and the part that you are playing in your life. And if you're dissatisfied with where you are in your life situation right now, Fantastic, because this is the perfect opportunity to be honest with yourself, painfully honest with yourself, and reveal what needs to change, whether it be a way of thinking or a belief system, consistently interacting with negative people or a specific negative person in your life that you know does not have a positive influence on your outlook. Now is the time to identify these truths about your life situation, not to be hard on yourself or to be hard on anyone else. This is not about judgment. This is about getting to the root of your unhappiness or your discontent so you can decide what you need to change and transform to begin living the life that you deserve. And the justice card is reminding you that all actions have consequences. It also reminds you that all things that are balanced thrive and all things that are out of balance will eventually destruct. So during this full moon energy, if you're seeing the number seven often, and also know that the Justice card is bringing you this reminder that this is the time to evaluate where your life or relationships might be out of balance. This full moon is a time to address those imbalances. And by doing so, you are showing the universe that you love yourself enough to do what sometimes might be difficult but necessary. And the universe will reflect that back to you by bringing you the opportunities that you seek and the people in your life that reflect that self-love. But when you allow these imbalances to remain, that shows the universe that you still need to learn the lesson of self-love, which will order challenging circumstances to come your way in order to help you learn that very necessary lesson of self-love. Number two, this full moon will be forming a challenging aspect with Mercury in Aries and a positive aspect with Pluto in Aquarius. The moon's relationship with Mercury, the planet of communication and learning, will lend to a heightened probability of argumentative energy. So if you find yourself triggered by someone else, or if you have triggered someone else, and you two are at the start of an argument, take a moment and share with that person that you need some time to think about the situation and you would like to revisit it at a later date when you've had some time to think. Engaging in an argument during this full moon energy will more than likely just lead to more conflict or greater disconnect. But if you take some time to yourself, you are likely to come to the realizations necessary that will be very helpful when revisiting the conversation, which will make resolution much more likely, or at least if ultimately the relationship must come to an end, the ending will be much more amicable. And the moon's relationship with Pluto, the planet of transformation, destruction, and renewal will intensify your emotional sensitivity and it will bring a strong karmic pull between you and an encounter that's connected with your destiny. So, Pluto is an incredible influence because if you do have to address an issue within a relationship, and this can be any relationship, it doesn't have to be romantic, this can be a friendship, a family relationship, etc. This Pluto influence indicates the highest probability of you two finding healing within that relationship and positive regeneration. So at least you know that if the relationship is meant to be, if it's meant to thrive, the time to work things out would be during this full moon. And this full moon Pluto relationship also indicates that if you do meet someone new or if the person that you are with now is part of your destiny, you will genuinely feel that. Number three, 
This full moon in Libra will be a penumbral lunar eclipse, which is when the moon travels through the Earth's penumbra or outer shadow, signifying that the major changes that take place during this time are connected to your destiny. Because this eclipse is in Libra, most likely these changes will relate to relationships, especially those that have an imbalance of give and take. And it will also relate to the aspects of your shadow self that need to be addressed or released in order to open the door to your destiny. Now let's jump into what this full moon will mean for your individual sign. Okay, my powerful Aries, this eclipse energy is going to be in your seventh house. So Aries, more than any other sign of the zodiac, this eclipse will be all about relationships for you. And this can be relationships of any kind, friendships, a family relationship, a work relationship, the relationship with yourself, but more than likely because this is the seventh house, this will be romantic relationships for you. So let's first talk about what this means if you are already in a relationship. This means that during the full moon energy, and when I say during, this means the week leading up to and then the two weeks after the peak of the full moon, including the peak of course. During this time, it will become very evident if your relationship is out of balance. And if it is, the issues that this imbalance causes will be magnified. And the reason that these issues will be magnified is because this is the way that the universe uses to assist you in making changes. When things become too challenging or frustrating or difficult to bear with, that is when more than likely you're gonna say enough is enough. And as an Aries, when you say enough is enough, that is absolutely when you are ready to change. So this full moon will bring on either the ending of a relationship or an opportunity for a major change that must take place. So this way the relationship can begin to heal or deepen by resolving whatever the root imbalance is. Now just know if you stay in a relationship that you know is imbalanced, this could very well be keeping you from your destiny regarding relationships because this full moon is a penumbral full moon and the changes during any penumbral eclipse are connected to your destiny. So if you know you need to make change, now is the time, Aries. Now for those of you that are single, if you want love in your life, this eclipse is bringing you the opportunity to take a look at how you view relationships. What are your belief systems about relationships? Have past experiences caused you to fear getting into relationships? And do you have a difficult time trusting? Do you feel helpless or insecure when it comes to the idea of relationships? If so, now is the time to recalibrate your perception when it comes to relationships areas. You can make the choice to take the lessons from your past, but also release any of the negative energy connected to those experiences. The actions of someone in your past are a reflection of who they are, not how relationships are. So don't allow a past experience or a past person to influence how you see your present or potential future. And for those of you that are single and not interested in finding love, this eclipse is an excellent time to tend to any imbalances when it comes to the relationship that you have with yourself. Any area of your life that is out of balance will cause you conflict during this time. So this way you can identify it and make the necessary changes to resolve the imbalance and create a relationship with yourself that is grounded in love so you can thrive as an individual and face any challenges that life has coming your way. This eclipse will be taking place during your season, so there is no better time to hit the reset button, Aries. Take your power back and step into the remainder of 2024 with a new perspective, so embrace this energetic opening and happy full moon, Aries. Okay, my powerful Taurus, this eclipse energy is going to be in your sixth house. So, Taurus, this is a crucial eclipse for you because, as I said in the three things everyone needs to know portion of this video, this is a penumbral eclipse, which means that the changes that take place during this eclipse are connected to your destiny. So for you, it is time to look at two major areas of your life to identify where there are imbalances and then make the necessary changes to embrace your destiny and get on the path that your soul desires to travel. These two areas of your life are health and your day-to-day -day routines, what you do on a day-to-day -day basis. So let's talk about health first. If you know you are not taking care of yourself in the way that is best for you, and this relates to your physical health as well as your mental well-being, bring awareness to what you put into your body and what you consume with your mind. If you know that you put things into your body that are bad for you and you know you do not have a health plan that works for you, 
now is the time to make the necessary changes, Taurus. No excuses. It's time to love yourself enough to make these changes. And right now, at the beginning of the astrological year, is the perfect time to do so. So that way you can really begin to see some major transformation in your life for the remainder of 2024. If you know what you consume with your mind in terms of what is not best for you, is out of balance with the things that are good for you, then this is time to make a change in that area as well. Ask yourself, do you spend more time on your phone on social media than you do consuming intellectual stimulus that uplifts you and educates you and raises your vibration like real life social interactions or spiritual groups or spiritual practices? Things that don't involve your phone that allow you to soak in nature and the real world. And I'm not saying don't engage with things that you love that are on your phone. Like there could be spiritual groups that you engage with on social media. I'm just saying make sure they are balanced with the things that I just mentioned because making sure that those two worlds are balanced will put you on the path of your destiny. Because meeting someone that may very well be a huge part of moving your destiny forward could be someone that you meet out in the real world, not necessarily on your phone. Now the other area of your life is regarding your day-to-day -day schedule. This relates to work if you have a job and any other activity or ritual that you have most days or every day. Now is the time to create a daily schedule for yourself that ticks off all of the boxes of what it is that you know you need in order to be the best you, Taurus. And if you do have a job that you don't love, I'm not saying quit it right this second, but I'm saying now is the time to make a commitment to figuring out what it is you would love to do and create a plan to manifest that into your reality. And the same goes for those of you that do not have a job. Now is the time to get clear on what it is you would like to be doing on a daily basis that can also increase your financial abundance and make a plan to manifest that into reality. This is the time, Taurus, to make a major shift, a shift that will change your life for the better. This type of eclipse, a penumbral eclipse, is only happening one time this year. It's happening at the start of the astrological year, so there is no better scenario to step into the person that you know you can be. Forget about the past. Start from right where you're at. Recalibrate, hit the reset button, get your life into balance, and allow 2024 to be your best year yet. So embrace this energetic opening, and happy full moon Taurus. Okay, my powerful Geminis, this eclipse energy is going to be in your fifth house. Okay, Geminis, anything that you have been suppressing is going to come up for you during this time. So just embrace it. This way, if it comes up, whether it's sadness or pain, then you can absolutely feel it and then release it. This is not only a time of healing for you, but this is a crucial time of bringing awareness to whether or not you balance your life when it comes to your responsibilities, the things that you know that you have to do, if you balance those things with your true desires, the things that you really love to do. Now, if you are the type who thinks, well, I really don't even know what it is that I love, I really don't even have time to do what it is that I love, this full moon is the time to figure these things out. The fifth house is all about self-expression. So it is important for your life force and for your destiny for you to allow yourself the freedom to express yourself in the way that your soul needs in order to feel alive. Now, I really respect taking care of your responsibilities, and this is something that we all need to do. However, it is also so important to remember that life is meant to be enjoyed and that it is also important to have that balance of work and play so that way you can thrive and feel energized and feel like you are enjoying the process. Now, the fifth house also brings a major energy to relationships, so if you are in a romantic relationship where you don't feel like you are accepted and loved for who you are if you feel that you don't have the easiest time expressing yourself in your relationship because your self-expression is met with judgment then this will be exacerbated during this full moon and just know the reason why this is being magnified is because this is the universe's way of acting as a catalyst to give you the opportunity to address the issue and as i said in the three things that everyone should know portion of this video everything that is balanced thrives and everything that is out of balance eventually will destruct. So if you do have an imbalance in your relationship, and this can apply to any sort of relationship, this can be with a family member, a coworker, a friend, but more than likely since this eclipse is in Libra, it will be a romantic partner. But if there's any imbalance, it is definitely time to address it and resolve it. So that way the relationship can move forward and thrive. Now the case may be that resolution is not possible and you might have to let the relationship go, but just know that now is the time for change. And this change will be good for you because this being a penumbral eclipse 
This means that the changes that are made during this time will relate to you and your destiny. So do what you know is best for you, Gemini, because that will ultimately result in your long-term happiness. Change can be difficult, but change is inevitable. So the more you can be excited by the idea of transformation in the direction of your destiny, the more you can begin this astrological year in the flow and with a momentum that will manifest fulfillment. So embrace this energetic opening and happy full moon, Gemini. Okay, my powerful Cancerians, this eclipse energy is going to be in your fourth house. So Cancers, you know that you are the ruler of the fourth house and the fourth house represents the family and the home, both your physical home and your inner spiritual home. So this full moon is urging you to bring awareness to the balance between your outer world when it comes to work and having fun and being social, what you do on your phone in terms of social media, etc bringing awareness to that and the energy that you give to your outer world and the energy that you give to your inner world, your spiritual wellness, your emotional and mental well-being and whether or not that balance is in a healthy place for you because that balance being in a healthy place is going to be so important for you when it comes to you living your destiny and what you manifest this year. Now, this is not a time to overanalyze anything or to get down on yourself or to think of what you should have been doing up to this point. This is not about finding fault in any way or having regret. Instead, this is about first looking at your physical home where you lay your head the majority of the time, the place that you call home, is that set up in a way that you feel comfortable, where you can recharge, where you can quiet your mind and go into your cancerian shell which is necessary for you at times if it is not that sort of space for you then this full moon is the time for you to create a plan on how you are going to make your home space the most livable and optimum scenario for yourself now don't think of what you can't do or what obstacles are in your way some of you may live with roommates or some of you may live with family members or a significant other that adds to stress, all of those scenarios. And I understand that. So only focus on what you can do given your current circumstances. Think of what is in your power to change, to make your home as close to what you need for it to be as possible. And then make a plan to execute those changes. This may involve having a conversation with someone that you live with, and if it does, approach them with a request as opposed to any sort of judgment. Do not rehash anything from the past. For example, if you need them to start cleaning up their mess, just say, moving forward, do you think it would be okay if we both make sure to clean up after ourselves? If they say, I do clean up after myself, <laughs> then say, okay, I just wanna make sure that I put that request in because I'm making a goal for myself this year to make my living situation as comfortable as possible. And no matter what they do moving forward after that, you always know that you do have your room where you can control how that looks and feels and you always have a plan of eventually moving out and getting away from them if they can't seem to get on the same page as you. And speaking of moving, this full moon may be a time where a move is in order if you're in a position to do so. And if that's what you know you want to do and that's what's best for you, then absolutely go for it. This is also a time to heal any relationships with any family members that might be strained or a struggle for you. I also know that this is easier said than done, but do what is in your power. And it always is in your power to release any negative emotions connected to the past when it comes to your family. Accept this family member for exactly who they are and create healthy boundaries and move forward. And lastly, make sure that you are tending to your inner spiritual home. Whatever your practices are, Cancer, that you know keep you in the right headspace and the right heart space, whether that be praying or meditating, journaling, making sure to have alone time, working out, dancing, whatever it is for you, make sure you are using those tools to keep your outer world and your inner world balanced because when those two worlds are balanced, you will thrive and you will be in a good mental space to make good decisions and choices. And you will by default be living your best life, manifesting your destiny, being prepared for anything that comes your way all while enjoying the process. So now is the time to make these changes, Cancer. So embrace this energetic opening and happy full moon. Okay, my powerful Leos, this eclipse energy is going to be in your third house. So Leos, don't be surprised if a miscommunication or some issue comes up with one of your relationships, more than likely a family relationship or maybe even a neighbor where something either that you have said 
or that they have said sets one of you off and there's an explosive interaction or conflict. This is an opportunity for you to look at the balance between what you express and what you actually feel. When something comes up for you that you are unhappy about within any relationship, but specifically these relationships, are you the type that speaks up or do you brush it off in hopes that the other person will realize their wrongdoing and start behaving better in the future? If this sounds like you, this is the perfect time to start to strengthen your ability to express yourself at the root of an issue before it grows to something more intense. When someone does or says something that isn't working for you, that's the perfect time to take a moment to yourself and then ask yourself, okay, what is it I would need from this person or what would I like them to do differently in order to feel better about the situation? And when you figure out what that is, then go to that person and let them know by saying, when you did this behavior or when you said this statement, it made me realize that moving forward, what I really would appreciate is, and then you fill in that blank with whatever you would like the proposed behavior to be. If they agree, great. You two are good to go and you're reconnected and the connection may even deepen. If they say they are unwilling to fulfill your request, then ask them, what are they willing to do? Then begin a negotiation of the solution until the two of you land in a place that you both feel good about. By doing this the first time that something rubs you the wrong way or that something is off between you and this person, you will save yourself a lot of drama down the line. If during this full moon energy you come across a conflict because something that has built up over time and it is finally coming up, it's coming to a head, you can apply those same steps in hopes for resolution. And use the experience as a great lesson for you to realize that moving forward, anytime an issue comes up, it is best to communicate immediately as opposed to waiting. This full moon could also bring about some information that has you taking a short trip for a work matter or some other lingering issue that is calling for clarity or resolution. Now, if you feel chaotic or overwhelmed during this full moon, that's okay. This is just an opportunity for you to take some time to prioritize your responsibilities and adjust your schedule so that way you are handling things in a step-by-step -step manner, making a commitment not to procrastinate but in the process, realizing what is important and what isn't. The theme of this full moon for you, Leo, is taking a step back, tapping into the vision that you have for yourself, then prioritizing your life accordingly, all while making sure that you no longer hold back when it comes to communicating when you know there is something that needs to be addressed. This way, any heaviness is alleviated by the end of this full moon energy and you can step into this strong momentum of manifesting moving forward, especially during the beginning of this astrological year. So embrace this energetic opening and happy full moon Leo. Okay, my powerful Virgos, this eclipse energy is going to be in your second house. So Virgos, for you, this is going to be an important time to rejuvenate and improve your relationship with financial abundance. The funny thing is, this won't really manifest directly with money. This will be more related to the balance of give and take in your life, especially in your relationships. This is a time to take notice of whether or not you are giving as much as you are receiving in your relationships and also asking yourself, do you receive as much as you give? give in your relationships. This balance is crucial when it comes to your relationship with manifesting abundance because this balance is a window into your self-worth. If you are willing to put up with relationships where you are the one who is always giving and you are rarely, if ever, receiving, that is indicating that you would benefit from strengthening your worthiness and your ability to establish what you deserve, making sure your actions then support that standard once you establish that standard. If you are receiving more than you give, then this is an indication that you are greedy. <laughs> Joking. It's an indication that you would benefit from realizing that the more you share, the more you will receive as long as you feel comfortable receiving. But you can see that this is all this eclipse in Libra theme of balance and give and take. Not giving for the sake of receiving, but just making sure that there is a healthy balance in this area. This full moon will also bring up opportunities for you to see what and who truly matters to you and what relationships energetically are fulfilling for you. This full moon, although it is in your second house, isn't all about the balance of money, it's also about the balance of energy. Bringing awareness to the relationships in your life so you can ask yourself, do these relationships give you the emotional support and the emotional expression that leads you to feeling safe and secure within those relationships? If the answer to that is yes, 
fantastic. If not, this is a time to evaluate who you are willing to give your energy to and who deserves that energy. Where you focus your energy is extremely important. I'm sure you have heard the phrase, where your focus goes, your energy flows. So if you give your energy to people who are takers and not givers, you will manifest more of what drains you and leaves you feeling lack. The exciting thing is, Virgo, that this all can be changed with one choice. You choosing to prioritize yourself in terms of making sure that you give your energy to relationships that have a healthy balance of give and take. And if you are the one who needs to give more, then make an agreement with yourself to do so. If you are the one that needs to learn to receive more, make the choice to be more open to receiving and to set standards and to stick to those standards. This full moon is the perfect time to say you will no longer have any imbalanced relationships with people or an imbalanced relationship with money. If you're feeling lack in either of those areas, it is best not to focus on the lack. Just use that lack as an opportunity to bring awareness to the situation and focus on solutions that will lead to you being able to receive more and have a healthy balance within your relationships with emotional and spiritual and material abundance. This way you will be thriving in all of those areas. So embrace this energetic opening Virgo and happy full moon. Okay, my powerful Libras, this eclipse energy is going to be in your first house. So Libras, there is nothing you love in life more than clarity. And by that I mean you are at your best when you know exactly what you're going to do, when you are confident in why you are doing it, and when you are confident that it is the right thing to do, and you are confident that the likelihood of a positive outcome far outweighs the likelihood of anything going wrong. So for you, that is a heavenly scenario. So because this is a penumbral eclipse, meaning this energy is connected to your destiny, then the choices and changes that you make during this full moon energy will be connected to your soul's path. And because this is in the sign of relationships and the sign of balance and the first house, the house of self, then this energy is a gift for you, Libra, because this means that during this full moon energy, any area of your life that is out of balance, for example, if you have a relationship where you give more than you receive, or you're receiving more than you give. Another example would be if you spend more time working and tending to your responsibilities than you do doing the things that you love and that recharge you, that would also be an imbalance. Or if you spend more time worrying or allowing sadness or fear to dominate your thoughts, more time doing that than staying grounded in gratitude and the peacefulness of the present moment. That also would be an imbalance. So this full moon is a time to bring awareness to those imbalances, make a commitment to yourself to make the necessary changes to adjust those areas and create more balance in your life. Once you decide what those adjustments are, then that will be a huge weight off of your shoulders. And these adjustments do not need to be major changes. You don't have to end an imbalanced relationship. Just communicate and make a commitment to working towards creating a dynamic between the two of you that is more fulfilling. Now, if you do communicate and the other party is not on board, then okay, ending the relationship may be inevitable, but it doesn't necessarily have to be that. With work, it doesn't mean finding a new job or quitting the one that you're in. It just means shifting your perspective and making sure to schedule time outside of work to do the things that you really love and that you really enjoy and that inspire you. The main focus for you in this full moon, Libra, is giving yourself the opportunity to look at 2024. And just 2024, not the rest of your life, not two years from now, not 10 years from now, just 2024. And then ask yourself, what is the vision that you see for yourself this year? What things excite you? What do you want to manifest or accomplish this year? Don't think about how you are going to do it or if it's likely to really happen or what could stand in your way. Just allow yourself to freely dream for a moment and know that that vision, that dream, is the spark, the seed of intention that you have set for 2024, and your only job is to stay excited about bringing that vision into reality. Have no attachment to the outcome because that is outside of your control, but what is in your control is the peaceful understanding that your only responsibility is to 2024. You can make decisions about 2025 when that arrives, but right now, 2024 is right in front of you, so use this first house energy to create that vision for yourself and know that committing to the excitement of that vision and taking action according to that vision, that is your only responsibility. That is a gift because you don't need to worry. You don't need to 
play the what if game. You just have to enjoy the process, trust the process, and stay connected to that vision. And anything that happens during this full moon energy is to help you understand either what it is that you definitely do want, or it's helping you understand what it is that you definitely want to let go of. This way, by the end of this full moon, your vision is clear and you can begin to walk on the path of your destiny. So embrace this energetic opening and happy full moon, Libra. Okay, my powerful Scorpios, this eclipse energy is going to be in your 12th house. So if there's any information that has been concealed from you, Scorpio, or that you have been concealing, this will more than likely be brought into the open during this full moon. Remember, this full moon is all about balance within all areas of your life with a focus on relationships, but it also applies to other areas of your life as well. So if you ask for more information in your relationships than you're willing to give, this could cause some sort of challenge to come up in those relationships during this full moon energy in order to give you the opportunity to address that imbalance and to realize that if you hold someone else to a specific standard of transparency, then the relationship will thrive only if you are willing to abide by the same guidelines of transparency. Also, if there's anything that you have been avoiding dealing with, it is highly likely that will amplify or come back around during this full moon in order to give you the opportunity to deal with that situation. Now, this could be anything from a situation in the physical world, like a responsibility that you may have been avoiding just because the idea of tackling that responsibility sounds tedious or just annoying really. <laughs> and you haven't felt inspired to tend to it. This could also be relating to emotions that have been suppressed from the past. Due to this energetic setup of the full moon, this could be an excellent time to schedule a reading or a therapy session or a meeting with your pastor or a spiritual teacher. Or if those aren't the ways that you really like to process self-exploration, then you might wanna just take the route of scheduling time to yourself to meditate or to pray or journal, whatever practice that you know resonates with you. The important thing is taking the time and giving yourself the space to allow the time for you to tap into your subconscious and allow any information to be revealed, any past hurt to be healed, and any new understandings and perspectives to be realized. The 12th house is a deeply spiritual transit. So this could result in a major turning point where you receive the answer to a question that you have had in terms of what your next steps should be. This full moon is connected to your destiny, Scorpio. So whatever comes up for you during this time, whether it be a major ending or an opportunity for a new beginning, whatever takes place will be connected and pulling you to the path of your destiny. Now, if there is a work project that has been underway for a while, this could also reach completion during this full moon energy. This will also be a time, Scorpio, where you may find that you focus your energy heavily on what is wrong with something as opposed to what is right with it. And in that realization, you will be inspired to make a commitment to more consciously focus on the ideas that you know will move you forward as opposed to the ideas that inspire frustration or cynicism or disenchantment. Now, now is the time, Scorpio, for you to spiritually clean house, renew your optimism, release any negative energy from the past, and hit the reset button and make 2024 your best year yet. And it begins with this eclipse. So embrace this energetic opening and happy full moon, Scorpio. Okay, my powerful Sagittarians, this eclipse energy is going to be in your 11th house. So Sagittarius, this is an excellent energy for you. If there is a dream or desire you have been working towards manifesting and you have been doing your part by keeping a supportive mindset and taking inspired action to bring that vision into reality, this may very well be the time that you make some major headway in terms of that dream being realized, which is extremely exciting. This is also a time where you may make a new connection with someone that could play a major role when it comes to bringing whatever the vision is that you have for yourself into reality. Because this is an eclipse in Libra, this will also bring a focus to whether or not the balance that you have within your relationships and within your work world is in a healthy dynamic. So if anything comes up with either friends or even with a romantic relationship or work relationships where you feel like you are giving more than you are receiving or if you're feeling taken for granted or if you feel like you have been settling for less than you deserve, this will be a crucial time in terms of you addressing this imbalance. Remember, this is a penumbral lunar eclipse. So whatever changes that need to be made 
to put you on the path of your destiny. These will be brought to light to give you the opportunity to make those changes in order to ensure that you are on the path of your destiny. So no matter what comes up during this full moon energy, no matter how frustrating the circumstances may be, make sure to not waste any time resisting something that you cannot control and instead look at the circumstances. Ask yourself what you can do that will be in your soul's best interest in terms of a response to those circumstances and then proceed from that place because whatever shows up for you during this time will be the universe's way when it comes to assisting you in getting on track with your destiny. Because this is your 11th house, this may mean a realization regarding a certain friendship or a friend group where you realize that the energy of that group is bringing you down. So your best move may be minimizing how much focus and attention you give that group moving forward. The good news is the 11th house and this Libra energy and the sun being in Aries in your fifth house, these form positive aspects with your Sagittarius energy. So the outcome of all scenarios for you during this full moon will absolutely be for the best, even if initially they seem to be challenging. But overall Sagittarius, this is a turning point for you to step into the momentum of 2024, knowing that you are now also stepping onto the path of your destiny. And the universe is supporting you by bringing you signposts pointing you in the right direction. So embrace this energetic opening and happy full moon Sagittarius. Okay, my powerful Capricorns, this eclipse energy is going to be in your 10th house. And Capricorn, you are the ruler of the 10th house. So this eclipse is going to be right in alignment with your energy. And as you know, if you watched the three things you need to know portion of this video, the things that take place during this eclipse are going to be connected to your destiny. So this full moon may be bringing about a situation that will bring light to whether or not you give your power of authority away Capricorn. This can be within any sort of relationship, a family relationship, a romantic relationship, a professional dynamic. Is there someone in your life where you feel their manipulation plays a role in you making the choice to sacrifice what it is that you know you want or you deserve? Does this person act as a distraction in your life, asking for too much of your time, or are they in a state of constantly asking you for favors, or they may be the type of person who's constantly criticizing what you do. However this manifests in your life, Capricorn, during this full moon, this dynamic will be magnified, so that way you can see the situation for what it is and how it affects your well-being, so that way you can make the necessary changes to put the dynamics of this relationship into a healthier place, because doing so is going to result in you being able to re set your energetic balance for you to step more deeply into your power, which will then result in you stepping more confidently and precisely on the path of your destiny. 2024 is truly getting underway right now, Capricorn. So this eclipse is coming along to assist you in making sure that you are no longer giving energy to anything or anyone in your life that does not reciprocate that energy that you are giving back to you. Now this eclipse is in the 10th house, so it does relate to career as well. And I know <laughs> you more than likely get tired of hearing the words Capricorn and career or money in the same sentence. Capricorns are about so much more than that. And I know that, however, this is in the 10th house. So it will be important to know that this will have a positive effect on your career. Meaning this could be a time where you get a raise or offered a different position. Just know that this could also be a time where you lose the position that you're in and if that is the case i know initially that can feel like a hard blow but also know that in the big picture this is the universe's way of helping you to get on the right path so allow yourself to feel the disappointment or anger or sadness process those emotions and then release them and maintain the understanding and the certainty that whatever takes place for you during this full moon energy is somehow not only in your soul's best interest, but it is connected to you and your destiny, Capricorn. So embrace this energetic opening. Trust that this is a positive turning point for you when it comes to the relationships in your life and making sure that you are on the right path. And happy full moon, Capricorn. Okay, my powerful Aquarians, this eclipse energy is going to be in your ninth house. So Aquarius, a path will be opening up to you during this full moon energy, but it is very important that you do your part to make sure that you are ready to step onto this path. Because this full moon is in Libra, the key to unlocking this path will be self-awareness and honesty. This will be a time where you are meant to ask yourself, are you giving as much energy to bringing the vision that you have for yourself into reality as you are giving energy to the things that you know do not support your forward momentum? 
As an Aquarius, you are very capable of achieving any goal, but you also can get caught up in the distractions of life that might bring momentary pleasure, but that you know are not the best thing for you in the big picture. So Aquarius, this is your time to identify the areas of your life that need to be less of a focus and the areas of your life that need to be more of a focus and make a commitment to actively giving energy to what you know is in your best interest. So whatever comes up for you during this full moon energy, whether it be conflict in a relationship, frustration with work, or even just a wave of emotions like sadness or lack of motivation or uncertainty or lack of self-confidence, just know that all of these things or whatever does come up for you is coming up for you because it is an opportunity for you to bring awareness to the fact that some changes need to be made and the good news is by making those changes you will shift the energy of your life so dramatically that not only will you begin to step into your destiny but you will also shift your overall energetic vibration which will increase your manifesting power keep an eye out for a mentor or a teacher of some sort to come into your life that will be bringing information to assist you with this forward momentum also know that an opportunity to travel may come up that could also play a major role when it comes to inspiration and you being able to see your life and the world differently this is a time for you to break any cycle that you know has kept you from being in a place where you feel confident with yourself and fulfilled by the life that you are living and this doesn't mean that all of a sudden you are going to want to conquer the world or become a billionaire or any of those other ideas that society preaches as success no Aquarius this just means that this is a time for you to take an honest look at your life identify what it is that you truly want what the vision is that you have for yourself and identify what things are holding you back those things are in your power to change like where you put your focus and then begin to make those changes while knowing that whatever shows up for you during this full moon energy whether seemingly good or seemingly bad in the moment know that in the big picture it is coming into your life to assist you when it comes to getting on the right path which is very exciting and because this is all taking place in your ninth house also remember that it's really about shifting your overall perspective that's what all of these experiences are meant to facilitate for you are to help you to have a new perspective because your perspective is really what fuels your belief system and your belief system is what fuels your choices and your choices is what fuels the changes that take place in your life and then those changes result in what it is that you manifest so look at this full moon as a time to really say okay what is it i believe about life now how are those belief systems helping me and assisting me and supporting me in moving forward and how are those belief systems holding me back and then the ones that are holding you back let them go <laughs> and allow your experiences to enrich and inform a new version of a belief system that is going to help you move forward so embrace this energetic opening and happy full moon Aquarius okay my powerful Pisces this eclipse energy is going to be in your eighth house so Pisces this is going to be such a great moon phase for you especially after your rebirth season this is going to be an intense energy but a fantastic energy and this is the reason why the eighth house is ruled by Scorpio and Scorpio energy although it is very intense as we know it is excellent for you because it assists you when it comes to getting to the root of anything but especially when it comes to identifying what needs to change and then giving you the clarity and the confidence to make those changes now because this full moon is in Libra the changes that will need to take place more than likely may be related it to imbalances in your life now this can be imbalances in relationships in terms of one person doing much more of the giving while the other person is doing much more of the taking or it could relate to you giving more energy to things that you know are not in your soul's best interest in comparison to the things that you know are good for you like taking care of yourself physically spiritually and emotionally so Pisces use this full moon energy to take some time to identify where these imbalances might be so that way you can address them resolve them and release any negative energy around them and now have this area of your life be a source of support and happiness as opposed to a source of stress or frustration because this is in the eighth house this can definitely indicate a relationship where someone is controlling and the dynamic needs to be addressed and maybe even ended this could indicate resolving an imbalance with finances where the focus moving forward may need to be paying off debt as opposed to creating more debt 
or this could just mean you deciding that moving forward, you are going to love yourself enough to really start taking care of yourself. So if you know your physical well-being is off balance, make a commitment to eating better and implementing some sort of workout plan moving forward. If your mental health is out of balance, make a commitment to consuming much less from social media and allowing your mind to take in the beauty of nature and experiencing your friends, family, or romantic connections live and in person. <laughs> this could also mean just taking more time to yourself to allow yourself to recharge. Whatever it is for you, Pisces, now is the time to restructure your perspective and your priorities to make your well-being the top priority. No more feeding relationships that are out of balance. No more continuing any behavior that you know puts certain areas of your life into a state of imbalance. The beauty of this is we are all at the start of the astrological year and you just had your rebirth season. And with Scorpio ruling the eighth house, any changes that you make are likely to be at the root of the issue and then long lasting. And with this as a penumbral eclipse in Libra, these changes will connect to your destiny. So this is a beautiful scenario for you, Pisces. All you have to do is take a deep breath, and be excited for the process of making those changes and go and be easy on yourself. Don't think of any regret. Don't think of what you should have done up until this point. Make sure that you're just saying to yourself, okay, I'm hitting the reset button and I'm gonna give myself the opportunity to really do the things that are in my soul's best interest because I love myself and I'm ready for 2024 to get a momentum of fulfillment going and a momentum of happiness. So be excited for the process of making these changes, Pisces, and go. Embrace this energetic opening and happy full moon. Okay, so there you have it. The top three things you need to know about this full moon lunar eclipse in Libra along with some insight into how your sign can make the most of this full moon energy. I hope you all enjoyed the information. If you did, please don't forget the baby tap. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. If you haven't joined the channel and you would like to support me and have access to membership perks, please consider checking that out. Thank you so much for taking the time to come and hang out with me. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.